Hello, and welcome to Behind the Science, where we ask challenging questions directly to scientists who are trying to solve today's toughest problems. I'm your host, Jennifer Fournier. This may be our most exciting Behind the Science episode yet, as we have a battle brewing between hillock and reverse phase chromatography. Who will come out on top? What are the pros and cons? And why would you use reverse phase versus hillock? Choices can be so hard. So before this battle gets even more out of control, let's go behind the science and see who will come out on top and be chosen as the winning chemistry for glycan analysis. I know two scientists who have this battle on a daily basis, so let's head to the lab. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're in a lab and we have a battle brewing between what column chemistry can separate glycans the best. In this corner, we have reverse phase and Scott. Hey Jen, uh, typically I go with reverse phase because I can't be bothered with column conditioning you need to do with hillock. If you don't do it right, you could be wasting money, you could be throwing money right into the trash. I think with reverse phase I can get started right away and take this competition. Good luck, Scott. Thanks. <laughs> and in this corner we have Matt for hillock. Thanks, Jen. Scott's always running peptides on reverse phase, so he's always thinking it's good enough and it's gonna work, but I'm not totally disagreeing. What he's forgetting, though, is that a properly conditioned hillock column is a great match for polar glycans. Good luck, Matt. Let's get ready to separate. 